guys how far now i came to this video today to honestly embarrass myself because everything i say in this video is going to be used against me at some point in my life mona no to take i'm serious mona no use i'm against me but in this video i'm going to talk about three of my worst simp stories in my life make sure you guys watch till the end the first one happened about four to five years ago i was at home that is in abj abuja i've been the house and at the time me and my girl we've been they get some kind of mumu, mumu problem and you know like there are times in a relationship but where you and your babe on a no good day in like good terms but there's no concrete reason why it's like accumulation of issues and issues and issues so like there's no concrete reason why you guys are beefing check it as simple way i be now the energy was weird so i didn't like it so i decided to go to her house <clears throat> On my way to our house, I see make I buy um snacks, you know now. I don't know, I can't remember exactly what I bought, maybe like peanuts, just all these small, small children, children thing. I bought it for her, I, I took it to our house. I opened I, I knocked for her, she opened the door for me, I give her. She see make I keep arm for chair. Like she just doing like this, like just keep it there. I can keep it there. I kept it, you know, and we talked, talked, talked. Obviously, nobody's at fault in that situation. Do you understand? Like I know fuck up, she know fuck up, but we know say we know they in the best terms she get so we are just talking but the energy is not smooth and everything i can't tell i'm sorry <clears throat> she can't say uh -uh. why are you apologizing what did you do which is the right question what did i do why am i saying sorry that's the thing that comes with simping you know like you don't have to be wrong to be apologizing that's the thing that comes with simping she said why are you why are you telling me why are you apologizing you know you know how girls baby why are you apologizing? Why are you telling me sorry? Me, I did it like Momo. I know if you answer him, I don't know why they tell him sorry. I do, 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 do. She just said mm, that she wants to go somewhere. She just going to do something. I can't remember what she said she wants to do, Sha. So I left. I went back to my house. So I stayed in my house for like maybe 10, 20 minutes. Aisha wasn't feeling good. You know now, you know that, you know that need like that simps have myself at that time. That simps have to always like to make sure that relationship is smooth at all times it's not a real thing because like relationships have to have ups and downs like if you and your babe they get issue and you know you didn't fuck up just chill and like relax but i didn't know that then i couldn't relax you know i'm like kai kai this babe i wasn't happy you know I wanted, I wanted her to be happy with me i wanted us to be in good terms and everything so i remember that that evening but she was going to her sister's school to pick her sister and i know where her, her sister's school day i entered bike and i went to her sister's school to wait for, like to wait for her to pass i don't know where exactly she go past i don't know her sister class i don't know the the gates i, I don't know if she follow this first gate or the second gate to end i don't know i carry myself i carry myself i went there i stood like a fool like a fool i stood like a fool i was waiting uh, i was waiting for her to pass i think that time she school they closed 3 30 that year right? primary school i was there before then like by 2 2 30 I stood 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock, school don't clear, school don't close, I don't see anybody. I took my shameless self back home. And the same girl, <clears throat> which I do all these things for, still serve me breakfast after like 2 or 3 months. Moral of the story, the truth is, there will be points in your relationship where your girl will be giving you attitude for almost no reasons. There are reasons behind that attitude. One, it could be the fact that you're simping too much. Two, it could be the fact that she thinks she has better options out there, right? So she's misbehaving, right? So there are many reasons why she could be behaving like this. But the one thing you should never do is beg or cry or plead when you are not at fault. Never overreact to this behavior. My second sim story happened before I got admission into the university. I wrote jam twice, right? I, I wrote jam twice. My first jam, I know get admission, right? So it was the second jam now that I'm talking about. In this, during the second jam, she applied for ANSU, that is Anambra State University. That was where she was going to school, right? I can't ask Sam, say, which school will she apply for? She say ANSU. I say, okay. I can't go put UNIZIC, Namdia Zikiwe University, in the same Anambra State. I put Namdia, so two of us go go there, continue our love, quote unquote. I put school, maybe say, I know, no, I know, like, I just put them because, say, babe, we, I think, say, I love. They go there. I put the school. Now, luckily for me, I no get admission for the school, right? I got admission to a different school. And before admission list came out, 
she don't already serve me cold breakfast before admission list came out so let's say for example now i actually got admission to that school right what was the like what did i gain what was the gain the biggest mistake a young guy would have but <clears throat> is believing that there's only one woman for him that's the worst thing like that's the worst disease any man can have and i had it you find a girl who is special you know treat her good treat her good you guys should have fun you guys should you know go out you guys should banter each other you guys should knock you know have a good time but don't for once think right that that's the only woman on the planet for you because it is a huge lie there's no such thing as a soulmate there's no such thing as the girl of your destiny like there's no such thing right there's just the girl you're with at the time who might be awesome right and that's that you understand because when you start making and do you know what's crazy do you know it's crazy subconsciously but when a woman knows that you put her over yourself like you're putting her over your future basically she can never possibly love you she she just can't do you, how do you think that girl i was dating must have felt when she found out that i put you music because she's going to that state you know how crazy that that's weird like it's, it's so weird if you're trying to think like in a very logical manner you'd be like yeah that's probably the right thing to do you know so we can continue continue our relationship there but in in the girl's head subconsciously she's like bro like get a life do you understand you cannot be that clingy to the point that you're making huge life decisions for it this is not your wife it's a different thing for just your babe like just your babe where you started you guys are still young it's not like you guys are done with the university and then you're starting if it's like you see day year one you they make huge life decisions she subconsciously is not going to like it you're slowing down your own self-development when you're investing your 100 percent to a girl that you most likely won't date for more than six to you know six months to one year it's very dumb and it's something i did my third sim story is an interesting one too it happened i think three years ago or two it hasn't been long let's just say three years ago right there was this girl i was kind of seeing we were not dating but we we're seeing each other you know we we're seeing each other for like i think a month or two months let's say two months right and me now because of my whole ah i like this girl i like this girl i like this girl energy i was like ah, what are we doing why have we not defined this relationship one thing i want to say is as a as a guy but unless you don't have anything doing with your life no be used to the defined relationship unless maybe you're towards like the age of 28 29 a, a man who wants to get married but until you get to that point defining your relationship is not very important i'm saying this thing because we did 2022 do you really think that the tag girlfriend and boyfriend stops anything from happening stops cheating let's put it like that do you think because say okay since he asked me out and now i'm his girlfriend that means i cannot cheat again or that means i cannot talk to other guys false it's absolutely false the truth is girls generally right are going to have options they're going to have guys who are like dming them whether they are single dating married they'll still be getting dms so having this at the back of your mind right i'm not saying you can't date you can but don't think the fact that you are dating her has suddenly like taking her off the market because they lie it hasn't even as even guys too because I'm, I'm almost saying girls like guys don't go out there and cheat more because guys do cheat like crazy right it's kind of the same thing if somebody's devoted to you eh, they are devoted to you period it's not the tag girlfriend boyfriend don't really mean much in 2022 everybody knock everybody now like hope you find a girl who is reasonable or if you're a girl watching this hope you find a, girl, a guy who can stay one place stay you get and then so you can do your thing and be faithful to each other but the tag is less important than the individuals involved in the relationship so back to my story right so i was like man what is this you know i like this guy i know she likes me back you know we're doing cool stuff together you know what i mean we're doing cool stuff together you know let me let me go to her house and let me tell her that see because i think something happened i think maybe yes i went to her room i went to her room and a guy came to visit they were not really doing anything but guy been there i'm like oh i know they do this kind of thing anything fist up this guy gonna knock this babe i don't want to play that kind of play show you guys so i was like man i'm telling her like straightforward like we're going to we are dating or we are done you know like if we're not dating we're not doing anything that kind <laughs> that kind of thing you know so i went to her house early in the morning i went to her house the next day knocked on her door found senior man i dressed well though because okay yeah i was going out too i was going out too so i dressed well i knocked on her door i told her come outside and talk to you she came outside i said how far she said she's good i said I don't like this thing we're doing so what, what, what are we doing i said if you're not dating then whatever it is you are doing needs to end she's like but she already told me that like she wasn't ready for a relationship i'm like yeah it's fine but if you're not going to date then we can't do anything together 
she said if that's what you want then no problem now if if you want us to just be normal friends then no problem i was like ah only fuck what just happened in my like i was shocked i didn't even plan but me going there but i didn't plan for her to say no which is just stupid i choked i went there with like ultimate confidence of this or this we did, either we date or we don't do anything together the girl agree she agreed she's like eh, yes yeah, yeah fine oh yeah we're not uh, we need to do it again but i'm not dating you she told me i was looking at this girl like i said so like we're not going to do it she said yes i choked i followed her into her room we talked for like one hour, we two hours. Me, we said was come out. I know come out later, 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 later. We talked, we made out, and we did everything that we needed to do. And I left. We know the date. We still went back to the same position that we went back to. In my head, I thought I went there with confidence, but I didn't go there with confidence. I went there hoping that she would just say yes and everything would be fine. I didn't like. I didn't come to the understanding that almost she go just she feel just tell you no, and if she tells you no, you walk away. I wasn't ready for that, so I went there and I simped again. Now. The thing is that, but in that situation, you think you simping is basically nothing. Like there's nothing there, you know. Let's just continue what we are doing. But in a girl's mind, but she has lost a lot of respect for you because you're not a man of your word. Like she's so important to you that you will come and you will say, "I will do X Y Z. I'm going to do X Y Z." But when you see her, you change your mind. That's fucking unattractive. Like it's unattractive. But that's exactly what I did, right? Funny enough, I think after like a month or two, we shall stop talking. But that was like, that was me saying, you know, like I'm not doing this thing anymore. And we stopped talking for a full year, you know. But before then, right, just that action I did of going there, going there and telling her it is this or this. And then eventually changing my mind right in her front. Definitely, I never need to ask her, but like it definitely made her lose respect for me because like that shows weakness. Do you understand? That's and that's another thing I've learned about ultimatums, but if you ever, first of all, giving ultimatums is always a bad idea because giving ultimatum means you're very desperate to get something right but let's say you're doing it let's say you get to that point of giving an ultimatum that is you must do this or you or, or this you must do this or i'll leave you that kind of thing if you ever get to that point of making ultimatums make sure you follow up with what you said never go back if you go back eh you have lost absolute respect there's nothing you can say in the future that that person whether it's a girl or a guy will ever take you serious because you already you've proven that you're not a man of your word and that was exactly what i did i went there and i'm like see we are not doing it again you get if if you're not going to date then you know stop coming to my room i'm not coming to your room stop she said it's fine no problem you can let's go our separate way and i choked guy and that's fucked up that's fucked up. you guys should learn from me man i've done foolish things in relation I've, relationships so situationships i've done foolish things plenty have you write book of mumu things why i don't do for relationship the reason why you should listen to me but it's not because i've had the most successful dating past but but it's because i've had the most varied dating past like ups downs left rights everything everything our second brain makes us do very stupid things at times and until you learn to control it you can never 100 percent be respected by a woman because if a woman notices that she cannot use her sexuality against you she's helpless if she notices that yes you like her you find her attractive she's attractive she's sexy but but when push comes to shove when you say you're going to do this thing her being sexy her being female is not enough to sway your decision if you can do that as a man you'll be extremely attractive to a lot of women i'm telling you if you like the video definitely hit the like button if you like me to make a part two of this video share this video to your friends click on the share button share to as many of your friends as you can if i can get 10k views on this video then i am definitely making a part two i'll embarrass myself a little bit more but only at 10k views would i do that so definitely click on the share button share to as many of your friends as you can on instagram or whatsapp especially and once we get to 10k i'll make a part two thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one it go be